hello guys welcome back to AppSheet tutorial so in this video we are going to see about column constraints so the name itself we are telling it's we are giving some validation or condition to the each column value so that's called column constraints so for this column constraints we can use the valid if or required if and iterative if so we will go to this demo app so if you see here this is the each column we have in this so if you are new to this channel just watch our previous playlist called appsheet expressions so there we have covered most of the important expressions uh, for the appsheet development so yeah now let's see the column constraints so the valid if will be under the data validity so we can use the conditions to restrict the validations what are the input we can give or not so and the required if and editable if this will be a in the update behavior editable if you can use this expression so here we can give the constraints overall can edit maybe the admin or the normal users only the admin can be editable or so on so and uh, the next one is required if so required if is like a mandatory field whether this should be given or not for a form kind of thing okay so today we're going to see about uh, one length validation of uh, sorry not the length validation mobile number we are going to validate so i'm going to change this, this mobile number column okay and this should be the number data type so our mobile number should be in the 10 digit then only it's a valid mobile number so that validation we are going to do so we have changed this data type to number so check out the previous video we have covered how we can change the text to an icon format oh some issue with that text icon text unable to find it okay so since we have changed this column name now so basically this data type number will restrict the column should enter only the number type so if you see here the number we can't enter the alphabets we have and be able to enter only number data type. so that validation is automatically done by the app sheet system itself so now we are going to give some additional validation the number should be 10 digit then only it's a valid mobile number so for this we can going we're going to use the length function okay so in this data validity the value use the length function here so length of this column should be 10 okay. length function is used. okay sorry so this data type is uh, number data type so we cannot calculate length for number data type so for that we are going to convert this column to the text and then we are calculating the length value so the text of this column and it's calculating the number of length should be 10 so then only this column is valid and we are checking uh, uh, sorry we are throwing an error for the invalid mobile number if it's more than 10 digits or less than 10 okay so now we'll check this validation so we'll give three digit which was invalid still showing invalid mobile number okay we'll check some issue here it's length of text should be 10 that's correct and okay so we'll test this expression once okay so the issue happened is because since the expression is correct but we are showing the thousands separator right so it's considering as a one character so the comma it will show so what does it mean is thousand separator 
So I will show you that. So you can give the eight digits. So I'm able to save because uh, the app sheet, the thousand separator is considering as one of the lines. So the comma is taken as one of the lines. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So eight digits plus two of the comma is taken as the data validation. So that's why it's accepting only for eight digits. For that, what we can do is so we'll just remove this show thousand separator. Okay. Now we'll see. Now the validation will happen perfectly. Okay. So now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine digits is showing invalid and I'm giving one additional number. So now I'm able to save. So this is uh, one of the use case of uh, valid if constraint. We can do another uh, important function for app sheet app development. How we can validate what are the inputs is going to cover, or sometimes uh, we can subtract our expressions list using validation. Whatever the input previously given. So the next time we'll cover the advanced functions. So yeah. Thanks for watching.